guys, it's Patrick from Prepare Patriot. Uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about, we are in perilous times, um, and I'm going to talk to you about a new tool that we picked up, the Frankfurt Arsenal Reloading uh, D-Primer. So this is a tool that we use to D-Prime brass. We're going to take a look at it real quick, uh, just to give you some initial specs for it. It is universal system to D-Prime brass from 20 cal up to 338 Lapua. Um, has a catch tube that you can catch the primers as they come out. It's machine grade die cast aluminum and it works on pistol and rifle brass. So this is a kind of a hand deprimer where you can go through and deprime all of your brass and get it ready for reloading if you're into that kind of thing. Um, I normally don't recommend reloading to most people, but in the times that we are in, ammo is hard to find. So even we are turning to reloading at some point. Um, we are starting to get into the process some. Um, we have a Dillon press and we've been using that and it's working fantastical. Um, I think it's the 550? 550B, I think is the, the model of that, which we've had for a while. To be honest, we never used it because ammo is so cheap before. It was, you just buy it and you didn't need to reload it. Nowadays that this piece of ammo is, you know, one of those is a dollar a round. So it's getting to where it's, kind of economical to try to start reloading again um, that being said i do want to put a caution out there we are not telling you how to reload we are not telling you anything about that we are just saying a little general review on this tool uh, we're going to open it up and let you guys hear what our initial first impressions are just a kind of disclaimer we have never used it this is it just got here after being back ordered for Three or four months. Three, I think three to four months. So uh, we've been waiting on this for a while. That being said, let's take it out of the box and kind of let you guys see what's up. And we'll get back and uh, let you guys see what our initial first impression is. All right, guys. So I've had this out of the box now. And I'm playing with it a little bit and kind of seeing where it's at. Um, pretty simple design. Works fairly well. Um, the only thing that I will say is the plastic kind of collar system that they put on the bottom of this thing is kind of cheesy. It keeps falling off every time we try to use it. Um, I don't know if that's just the way they store it in the box or if they meant for you to keep it that way. Um, but it seems like it won't really stay in place on the gun-ish thing this is supposed to be. Um, maybe if you put it like that and push them in there, they might stay, but I don't know. Um, overall, the construction feels pretty good. The quality seems pretty good. Um, the only thing, again, is those little plastic collars. Eh, not my favorite. Uh, but it seems pretty simple design. So you take your brass, put it inside the chamber, close it down, and oh, see, the little plastic things keep kind of falling off there. Not very good. And you just kind of give it a push. Eh, maybe not. <laughs> I was trying to know what the hell happened. It was working so good off camera. Let's try it again. Yeah, oh, there we go. Okay, so I don't know what's up with this one. Let's try that one again. Maybe a dirty primer pocket or something. Let's see here. No, that one ain't coming. <laughs> that so, one goes to the trash can. Yeah, I don't think that one's going to come out. And I don't know why, but we're going to put that one to the side. We ain't trying to break the tool. That sucker was like 60 or 70 bucks. Yeah, so talk about cost, 60, 70 bucks. Seems to work fairly well. Um, supposed to catch the empty primers. It did not there, it kind of spit it back out. Let's try another one here. Oh yeah, so that one's deep prime. Put another one in here, put it down. Again, tough, not coming out. And I've tried loading it a couple times. That one's not going to work. No bueno. Let's try this one here. Yeah, some of them fairly easy. Some of them not ever coming out again, seems like. Um, maybe it's me. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing with the tool. Um, seems pretty simple, though. You put it on there, deprime it, yeehaw. I mean, some of these are going fairly fast, super simple. Some of them be, seem to be a pain in the hind end. I wonder if some have to do with, uh, aren't some of the rounds like crimps the primer? Yeah, so this is, a, oh, and again, the plastic collars just will not stay on there. So I would put those up in a safe place. Um, so overall, it seems to work pretty good. 
Um, every now and then you get a really hard primer that doesn't want to come out that it looks like we have to kind of yeah those are not coming out of there i don't know um i don't have these separated by crimp versus non-crimp they're just all two two three whatever i could find kind of thrown in here let's try another one here most of them seem to do fairly well um and then this is a whole mixture of all different kinds of two two three five stop five five six ammo um, and it kind of seems to be dependent some of the primer pocket seems to come out fairly easy like that pretty quick seems to work fairly well some of it seems to be right there uh -oh. <laughs> we're not editing that out um, i think you should see what happened so right apparently the little case the little plastic case come off and it shot primers everywhere so as as it's not broken it's not broken but i think that's something you should be aware of if you plan on doing this in your house apparently that's fairly easily removed so um just first impressions um do it in your garage or somewhere where it's not going to mess up your wife's house because <laughs> it's your wife's let's be honest <laughs> um, other than that it looks like it's pretty fast when it does work it works very well when it doesn't like i'm pretty strong and there's no amount of pressure i don't think that's going to make that primer ever come out of there um some of them are just freaking tough to get out some of them are super easy and pop right out um it does have a primer catch that would probably work really good if i was smart and i kept this kind of down the entire time um so there we just did i don't know two four six eight ten twelve fourteen six eight twenty 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 five ish rounds um, in just a short period of time. The gun seems to be pretty well made, the reloading, depriming tool. Um, I don't think it's gonna be a huge issue. Um, I do think that the little primer thing comes out a little too easy. As you can see, if it was a really hard jar when I was kind of re to deprime it, it came out fairly, fairly quickly there. Uh, so I wouldn't do this in the house, even though they kind of claim it's got a catch for it. The plastic things are a little janky, could be a little better the little collets that hold different ammo in. I don't, I think I have some 308 or something else over there too, but we won't get into all that. Um, first impressions, seems like it's pretty decent. Fairly expensive for what it is. I think we, it's like 60, 70 bucks for this tool. Um, it does seem to cut down time a whole lot um, because if you have a, if you have a press that you're using to deprime, you're having to stick it in, deprime it, bring it down, take it out, put the next one in. This does seem a little bit faster and a little bit more convenient. Um, you know, you stick this in, run it down, pull the trigger, it deprimes it, pull it out. Super fast. You can set up a little station or do this um, maybe while you're sitting outside on the floor or something like that and just kind of go through quite a few very quickly, I think. So it does have a benefit. I think it will make reloading a little bit faster for us. I think it's going to be a pretty good tool. Overall, a couple little things on the design maybe I'd change. I might would have made that screw in so we could catch those without it just falling right out anytime it wants to under pressure. Um, I would have definitely changed these. I mean, it works, but it's a little bit janky. Um, but overall, the tool itself feels pretty, pretty rock solid, and I'm sure they sell these little plastic replacements if you need another one um, down the line. That being said... Um, reloading is not for everybody. If you're not willing to put the time in to learn the skill and you're not willing to do this kind of thing, it does take a lot of time. Um, and I recommend most people buy ammo, not reload. But if you do feel like you have to reload and you want to do the reload, this might be a tool that saves you a little bit of time and a little bit of money. This is a Frankfurt Arsenal um, reloading deprimer, I think is what it's called. Um, yeah, universal deprime. So you can deprime all brass. You can also put nine millimeter handgun rounds. Anything in here that you want to deprime quickly, you can use this for, which is kind of cool. Um, it, it it seems like it would take just about everything in the small case, other than like your bigger rounds. The medium looks like 308, 30 out six, and then the magnum would be your magnum rounds. So anything um, smaller than magnum that's around this size diameter, like a nine millimeter two, two, three, I think you could do fairly quickly with the same collet and just a quick adjustment. That being said, before we got on camera, I did adjust this just a little bit. You loosen it up, um, you stick the brass in, and then you tighten it down until you can just kind of slide it in and out there. You want it to have a little bit of grip, but nothing major, um, just like that. 
Easy peasy. So you should be able to pull it out fairly freely. Overall, it's a pretty good tool. We'll report back after we put a couple thousand rounds through it and see kind of what the what it does on the brass. I think it will make cleaning our brass in our Frankfurt Arsenal tumbler much easier. Um, and maybe there's an upcoming video on that if you guys are digging the reloading stuff. Let us know what you think in the comments. Hit the like, subscribe, the notification bell. Otherwise, if you'd like to train with us and come out and use some of that ammo you're making, check us out at preparepatriotnc.com. You can check our schedule out and come out and train with that rifle or that gun, uh, the handgun that you're choosing of your choice. And you can check out all of our social media, Prepare Patriot NC, uh, across the board on just about every platform. So until next time, carry smart, carry safe, and be prepared. Thanks, guys.